Uh, we do have a lane for the potted, and it's way, way, way overkill. He might clog that lane, but he kind of has to play defensive. We really just have plant food time to shine in three, anyway. Yeah, pretty good day at the office here. <laughs> Bye, Brainstorm. Have a nice time. <laughs>Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, I am making yet another attempt I've tried so many times to make this card work. Potted Powerhouse. Uh, this card it has huge potential. It costs five, though. It's so expensive. Uh, this card will grow every single time. The, uh, anything on your board gains strength or health, and we're leaning into it fully. I'm just going full send. Every single thing in this deck uh, will grow. This grows when it does damage. Click bees grow themselves when they're played, and they will grow each other, too. Uh, you have your high voltage currents, which not only if you have two of these on the board, they can start scaling insanely, uh, but this will also trigger all the other dino roars uh, that you have in this deck. We're running quite a few dinosaurs, including the Velociradish Hatchling that grows every single time you draw a card by one attack. Uh, only card that really doesn't grow or dino roar is Berry Blast, but that'll work with the high voltage current and just in general is a very good jack of all trades card. Black IP grows when they play a trick. This will actually count as two minions growing since it's going to make another copy of itself and they both grow with an attack every time you draw. Same thing with Bananasaurus Rex will grow every single time. It has Dino Roar and uh, Plant Food will be both the finisher for Potted Powerhouse or the finisher for anything else in this deck. I mean, we've got some pretty heavy hitters. Even though we're just, I built this deck, you know, people are saying maybe run Onion Rings because you have so many one drops. I'm really like leaning into the full potted powerhouse, but I do think this deck could probably win games even if you don't get it. The problem with this, of course, is that you're building a deck around it. Uh, and if you don't get in your starting hands and you draw it later, it's usually pretty useless. I think anyway, though, this deck can do very well even without potted powerhouse. We'll probably mulligan as hard as we can for potted powerhouse. It does help us mulligan for potted powerhouse when you have a lot of one drops. That will enable you to, you know, mulligan more aggressively for potted because you'll usually anyway get a one drop in your hand no matter what. Also running a couple banana peels. Uh, so this is going to move things over to a lane. I really want to try to take low attack plan, low attack zombies and make them hit my face in order to get superpowers. Obviously the best superpower to combine with potted powerhouse is just time to shine. If you have time to shine, then potted powerhouse is really a six sun combo of whatever attack uh, this has just automatically goes face and you can turn, uh, one turn kill them. Uh, let's get into, so anyway, banana peel can both correct trades, open up damage, uh, and also, again, conjures a banana so it will trigger all your dino roars. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. And let's get right into it. I was thinking about Muscle Sprout, but I, I just, you know, there are a lot of one drops. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, and, you know, if we see, like, maybe the curve is too low, we'll, we'll uh, add in Muscle Sprout. I just think it's a little bit too hard of a card. It gets removed too easily. It doesn't grow right when you play it. So it's kind of like a high risk, you know, very high risk. Not, not the best with Potted Powerhouse. We did get this, though. Would I dare keep both of these because it's really, like, the best card with Potted Powerhouse? Because these are so good with, um, with against Professor Brainstorm, who just does not deal three damage very well, I'm actually going to keep both copies of that. I'm really making this about the Potted Powerhouse, even though, again, this deck does have some pretty serious power. Uh, even without. So let's do some bets today. If you think that we are going to win, considering the fact I'm going to be full sending and trying to get the, the OTK potted wins. If you think we're going to win, if you think we're going to win, you know what? It's Captain Combustible. Games will go fast. I'm doing 10 games. If you think we're going to win 8 out of 10 with this deck, vote yes. 7 out of 10s, I know, over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. Is there anything that this could give me that would actually be good? I'm thinking, like, pass now, go three, four. Time to shine, I'm going to say, for the Pot of Powerhouse. It's going to be really good. I, I think the Blooming Heart really did the damage. It did two damage. It buffed Pot of Powerhouse. It's not going to actually grow here before it dies, right? Uh, and it also took out his two drops. So that's, that's value. 
So it's going to be three and then four, and that's how the high voltage current's going to get a lot of value. It's going to give give this a lot of gross. So that's awesome. This could have gone into uh, well, the heights protects it from like trapper territory. This turn. Cryo brain. Wow, the man is rampant. Which is probably a good thing, since we're just OTK, like... If he doesn't address these... I mean, Pot of Powerhouse is going to 6. It's actually going to 10 right now. Once we do this play... <laughs> okay, okay, bro. Uh, I don't really need to do face damage. So I'm gonna put these here. Get rid of some of his ramp. And I think this just goes here... This will grow if we berry blast next turn. I don't think I care. I think we're just gonna make the pot of powerhouse do the, the full 16 to fix. <laughs> so this grows it four times. Uh, and it probably, again, will grow three more times from these three dinos that don't die. So that's awesome. Okay, from these two dinos that don't die. That's just a really slow wrath. I don't like it. I don't like it, like, for him. Kind of slow. Na, 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 na. I can see. Uh, three and two looks pretty good. Pod is already at 12. Gargologist? He had a wrath before. He got this from the cosmic. I could see you in trouble when you walked in. Yeah, pretty sure we're just setting up Dinos and Black Eyed P here. He's definitely going for a trick with four brains. If this denies the trick, it's good. If he plays the trick, Potted Powerhouse should get to 16 here, guys. Uh, we'll see if he can deal with this lane. Maybe he has... Ah, uh, is that good for us? It's fine. We just don't have an open lane this turn for the Potted. But we'll, we'll find one eventually. Uh, this guy has two cards left in his hand, unless one of them's a Valk. We kind of got this game in the bag. There's a plant food. Uh, but yeah, we're at 16. We're, we're just everywhere we need to be right now. He passes. Um, well... Unless he has some ridiculous field clear play, I'm guessing going face is a good thing right now. Uh, how do we do this? <laughs> so far, it's working. Do we just bury? I mean, I don't want to get. I don't want to get OTK valved right now. <laughs> it's like the last thing that I want to happen. This will be turn eight with the berry blast. I guess I just want him to remove something, right? I really don't want to get valved. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do this play though. Can someone help me with the no match found bug? So if you're having that bug, change your device's language to English. Uh, people have been telling me that has helped with the bug. I don't know. I've never tried it myself. I can't guarantee it. That's just what people have been telling me. Uh, yep. So as long again as... Well, he can't have Mustache Monument plus Valk. We'll see top decks it right now. <laughs> Pimp Tarek. Thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, we do have a lane for the potted, and it's way, way, way overkill. He might clog that lane, but he kind of has to play defensive. We really just have plant food time to shine in three, anyway. Yeah, pretty good day at the office here. <laughs> Bye, Brainstorm. Have a nice time. Easy. <laughs> Uh, my second OTK deck in one day. Uh, we played a little Cards and Castles too, and I did a deck that was basically doing this exact same thing. I love OTK, come on. Did it, Does this guy's name say, I hate plants versus zombies? <laughs> I hate these heroes. <laughs> 
you have to add a five because someone already had I hate PVZ heroes as their name. Wow, another game where we get potted powerhouse. I'll keep the one drops and then the berry blast to remove infinities stuff. Uh, question is, which of these should I set up? The earlier you set this up, usually the better. I can see you were trouble when you walked in. Uh, because Swashbuckler might be a play next turn, I think I'm going to use this to counter the Swash. This is a decent answer to Common Man, too. We'll do two damage next turn. If we see a gravestone, we know what he's going for. It's nice to play this on one, because then you can get another one on turn two. But, but anyway. Because again, this will put more click fees into our deck, so it makes it more likely to get a play for next turn. It's a little strange consideration. It'll probably just bungee. Oh no! Oh, he ain't doing nothing! Okay, well we've successfully stifled this guy and given our... Pot a couple of buffs. Come on, top deck click P. <laughs> I can dream, can I? Uh, if he plays something very blastable, that would be the best case scenario. Oh, hell yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, he top decked that? Did he not have that? He did literally just top decked that off the top of his deck. He totally would have played that last turn, I think. So he definitely doesn't have a second one. We don't know what his superpower is yet. It's either Strength, Deadly, Clones he would have also played. Strength and Deadly, maybe not. Strength, probably Strength. Alright, let's do this. Clone, Strength, Sugar Retreat. Ugh. Oh, we can Berry Blast that. Oh my gosh, he's all in. He's all in. And luckily, even though that does 8 damage here, uh, luckily it does die to Berry Blast. Uh, that's definitely what we're going to be doing. Oh, I guess we'll commit. Do we commit this first and take 1 extra damage here? Am I crazy to commit this first and get down to 7? I'm definitely Berry Blasting that. It, it grows Potted Powerhouse too. I don't know about taking the extra damage by drawing the card. It means this will grow, though. We're down to eight. I think his win condition is us. Is ta I I'm going to be safe here. I know this is super weird. There's another berry blast. Maybe I'll go face with this one. <laughs> we have four plus two next turn, right? All right. Should I super one of these? You could have fruitcake. All right, let's just do this. There it is. We got pear pail. Come on, proc the block, bro. <laughs> One job. I could see you with trouble when you walked in. All right, we're going with click B, and we'll put B Rex here so it can actually hit face. Eh, <laughs> wah wah. Didn't really. No, it didn't. Well, you know, any block fighter, so. Okay, gotta use that encrypt someday. Well, that was a starting superpower. I guess that makes sense. It's kind of... I feel like Deadly and Strength, he would have used... Kind of made sense it was Encrypt. We can Berry Blast one of those, so that's awesome. He gets two damage. Uh, we get six damage. I couldn't see the trouble when you walked in. Why am I singing Taylor Swift? Uh, so we're going to give him one of these. Which of these are the most dangerous? It's definitely not lane two. Uh, I think we... Berry Blast. Yeah. <laughs> I grew. 
I don't know. We could do it here so the so the B Rex is more likely to go face. I like it. Stealing our one block meter, it will do the animation because we only have one. <laughs> monkey, monkey, monkey. You can't see it. It goes on the screen. <laughs> ah! No, not flame face. Do we lose? We lose. I mean, California roll time to shine. Come on. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes that. God damn it, Infinity Pie! I thought we were winning this game! Oh, that was brutal! <laughs> it's so hard to beat that, though! Flame Face was top deck madness, man! That's wild. Wait, didn't we win a game already? Oh, we're one and one. I'm sorry I forgot to mark the... I forgot to <laughs> mark the score. <laughs> I can't say I'm a Taylor Swift fan. I think, like, for most artists, there's, like, one or two songs I really, really like. Um, so, yeah, that's the Taylor Swift song I really like. There's one other one, too. I forget what it is. The music is just really good. I'm not, like, a, a fan of a genre or a particular artist or this or that, typically. There's usually just, like, I like really catchy songs, and I feel like... Most musical artists have, like, just two or three of those their entire career, you know? Do I hold on to this card? This doesn't look like it's good on curve here. Alright, Black IP you always keep. And if he plays Cheese Cutter, I guess we Meteor. Uh, what do you mean when you say California Roll? So that's the term we use instead of saying 3-3-2. Three, three, There's a possibility of getting hit three, usually four times, completes your block meter. Two, 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 on average. Uh, there is a possibility of it happening in three shots. Three, three, two, or some combination of those three numbers. Uh, instead, I used to say like rolling a 3-3-2, three, three, and it just was too, too many syllables. So we condensed it to California Roll. Which not only the area code of some places in California is like 323, I think that's how we came up with it, but it's also a kind of sushi, so it's a double entendre. That's awesome. Yeah, very good cards again, all of these cards actually. Everything is good against the Morticia, it's a really good matchup. Because Black IP looks like he's taking that out. Weenie Beanie. <laughs> But uh, really doesn't have a great... I mean, I guess Extinction Event next turn would be good. We got a free Weenie Beanie. Is there anything we can do with the Weenie Beanie? Not really. <laughs> it's just going to be charging block meter for no reason. The person who sent me the inspiration for this deck, even though I'm not using their deck at all, it's Almanger was making the deck more with, like, Shroom for two and and buff shroom. I, I I really wanted to focus on each minion being independently good. Not getting a shroom for two doesn't really help your pot of powerhouse unless you get buff shroom. You know what the heck is this guy doing? Get off my lawn, literally. Yes, I'm a Swifty because I like one one or two Taylor Swift songs. What's the other one I like? I could see you were trouble when you walked in. What was the other one? I don't remember. <laughs> That's how devoted of a fan I am to the goddess Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm just saying the things that will upset you guys the most. It's like really cool not to like Taylor Swift. I don't care. I'm so cool that I don't conform to that. That's how cool I am. <laughs> Uh, someone just messaged GG Fry that flame face top deck saved me. Thanks a lot for kicking my ass. That was crazy, man. I had you, bro. Uh, flame face needs a nerf. I just, I think it's just second the uh, banana. Banana. The, these, these are really annoying though for Captain Combustible, especially. But you can't like we could have developed a click feeder. Oh my gosh, you don't have alley. See, this is what he does. He clogs all the ground lanes and then just has alley news and just deals with one lane at a time. That's so annoying, actually. These weenie beanies are killing her, though. Down to 11. 
the hell is that? It's an abomination. Deep Sea Guard. So it's going to be one. <gasps> we have to put this here. It's a chump block. <laughs> I, I kind of... The, the stride is working. We got two botanists. I wish there was some way that I could grow my... You know, I guess like banana peel would 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 move things over and free these lanes up for me. Could you not get two damage one time? One time, yes, yes. So we get two to face. I could see you in trouble when you walked in. <laughs> Acid rain, tough decision. He goes back to five. Doesn't wanna. Why not two though? Very strange indeed. We have the opponent down to eight. These guys have actually racked up a lot of... Oh my gosh. Um. So we plant food. Very blessed. Very, very easy decision. <laughs> Committed a seven drop healer. Nice try, bro. That should be guaranteed. Yeah, and he didn't save the bats. He could have survived if you held these bats, man. Come on, man. That guy had me, too. <laughs> you don't gotta spend every card if it's not. How is that even helping you win? It didn't. That's why. Gotta draw the cards. Gotta chump luck. Got him. What's the combo? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, botanist, like, botanist mug? Okay, I'm writing down botanist mug. Botanist mug. <laughs> Alien ooze troll deck. Is there any other way? Oh, firefighter, exactly. Firefighter. Is there other things? Things that focus on one lane? Like, we, it doesn't have to be... Here, let, let's mulligan. Oh my gosh. Morgan, please! Ah! Ah, I ran out of time. It's just the, you know, interface. Ah, oh, too bad. Well, we have two potted powerhouses now, so... I really needed to mulligan one of them. It's fine. I couldn't see you in trouble when you walked in. No complaining about the YouTube stream. That's the number one rule. <laughs> it's literally the number one rule of the YouTube stream. One does not speak about the YouTube stream. Uh, is this a good idea? I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. It does survive, and it kills space-time before he's able to get any conjure synergy or anything like that. I could see trouble. So if he has like a little chump blocker, a little bungee plumber or something, then it'll be kind of good value for him. But otherwise, uh, this takes resources to deal with. And oh yeah, we got our raptors going. He has to deal with this, and now this pops off. Clones, he's going for it. Please miss. Please miss lane one. Yes! <laughs> Is that it? No. <laughs> I thought that was it. What a shame. The man had bungee. What can you do? What can you even do? Okay, well, we got three potted powerhouse. We're gonna play one on curve next turn. That's how this game is going. I guess this always goes here. Quasard. That's a cool combo. I love space time Quasard. You get free superpowers. It's crazy. Uh, we, we should have a 5 cost 12 12 coming up. So if he's running Fruitcake as his removal, and he didn't get like you know, chop from Quasar. We kind of just like win, but based on that itself. Yeah, this 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 hand is is getting kind of thick. It do be it do be thick. We gotta just play one of these though. <laughs> A five cost twelve twelve. I think that's value. Pretty sure that's that's good. Oh no 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 no. Oh, he doesn't have deadly. I'm so happy. <laughs> he he played a superpower already, right? Yeah. This this was, and he hasn't gone on yet. Alright, enjoy the 12-12. Twelve, twelve. 
bone up a freaking teat. I think it, we just stabilize here and we'll be fine. Oh my gosh, imagine blocking. <laughs> they didn't have bullseye, but we, they rolled double ones. Just about the same thing. Yay! I could see you were trouble when you walked in. Is Berry Blast plant food to play? It kinda is. Let's just go for it right now, man. It's 13 damage. So that means four, uh, four won't win, but he can't remove this. Nah! Nah! Why are we wasting our time playing a second potted powerhouse? Complete waste of time. We have lethal in two lanes now, including one guy with 11 health that he's not going to be able to answer. Dude! We still win in lane one. Dude! <laughs> Let me cook! Oh my gosh! Um... Ow. We need a leap! We need a leap! <laughs> I got the, we got the gritty! We hit the gritty! <laughs> I love that so much! Let's not do this so he blocks and gets strength, because that'll be one of the things that puts us out of this game right now. So, five health. With, one, with two cards in hand. I think we're okay here. Rawr, rawr. And we'll just time to shine whatever minion he plays, I guess. Is is Bananasaurus Rex unironically better here? Is B Rex time to shine the play? What could that be? I think it's unironically B Rex time to shine. <laughs> Trap what it with toy. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Hit the gritty. Yes, we're good. Well, I don't know the superpower saved in there. I don't know what his last card was, but wasn't playable apparently. Yes, the fritty. Yeah, it's not the gritty, guys. It's definitely not. It's the fritty. <laughs> yes, three and one. Let's go. <laughs> These games are going pretty fast. Oh, I missed my low chair I had in Mexico because I really like cracking my back by leaning back. I don't know if that's good for me. Maybe it's not. It felt really good though. Okay. One, two, something with three, four. This looks fine. Is this the same guy? I'm not playing the same guy again. That's one of the one of the few rules of the stream. No, the last guy was name was Jumping Owl. This is a completely separate guy. All right. We'll keep this hand. Let me guess. Con Man on one. Oh, okay. Do I play around Trapper territory? Yeah, I do. The thing is, is that I'm now playing into Laser Base Alpha, which is way more likely. By playing bigger minions on the ground. It's such a conundrum with Infinity, man. Okay, now this goes on heights. Because now we're playing around both. Yoink. Let's see if we can get a good berry blast here. If not, we'll go with these two. What is this? Line dancing zombie. Gotta be lying dancing. What else would go face here? Stealthy Imp. It's gotta be lying dancing. Flame face? Flame face? Kind of academic, not gonna lie. Alright, let's do it like this. One plus three kills the flame face. Epic sex boy. Oh, it's Dab! I almost fell for it too! Oh, I didn't even think of Dab! Didn't even. Didn't even. Oh, we got another one? Let's go. Let's see what we can get going on over here. 
I like the backup dancer. Is this dancing? No. What's your, what's your problem, dude? Oh, we can just remove everything here. I think he doesn't like the black IP very much. Wildberry is definitely not happening. Yeah, let's just do it like this. I think this is a good meteor. It's a black IP. And we got four damage going face here. It's not bad. So we'll either have B-Rax or Blue... Whatever, Bluesberry. Yes! So what was that superpower? Strength, I think he uses there. Unless he's holding it for Cowboy. Um... No sign of Potted Powerhouse this game. You either get three or zero. That's how it works. One of the many problems with Pot as a card. But hey, it's working so far. Oh, uh, what? Oh. It's a dancing deck because he's running Disco Zombie. I guess that makes sense. Well, we're definitely not feeding a B Rex to that, so. This ain't bad, because then we can hit him with the... We can hit him with the cheese next turn. With the Bluesberry. And then it lives. It's supposed to Bluesberry itself doesn't even kill this. Four and two does, though. Alright, I think we're going with you. You're just a removal card. I hope he doesn't, like, ping this, though. This is not. This guy's also getting really, really low. Down to 4 health. Now, he could burst a lot of damage here. Honestly, even if he goes binary stars, we'll, we'll ping this before anything bad happens. We can almost ping his face to death. We'll be down to 2. He hasn't played a single trick yet. Maybe that's why he's losing. Fry, is it bad that donating to you is my guilty pleasure? Also, I don't think that's bad. I mean, I'm obviously biased. It helps me pay my my my, my bills. But uh, yeah, that's that's guaranteed. This guy didn't really do that much. <laughs> he could have gone face with this too. It's the same exact thing. Uh. All right, so we're four and one. So far, so good. I'm not making any changes to the stacks. Thanks. Getting it done. We died to Infinity Pirates. What do you know? Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. You guys are keep keeping me alive here. With Toronto rent. I know I complain about that every day, but it hurts, man. When my kids grow up, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live somewhere that's that's cheap to live. You know, start making some good financial decisions. No, I'm I'm doing okay. I, I appreciate your support, guys. So this, how is every single hero infinity today? What do we play? Oh, hold on. Game number one was Brainstorm. Game 2, Infinity. Game 3, Game Immortitia. Game 4, Infinity. Game 5, Infinity. Game 6, Infinity. It's been four Infinities and two other heroes so far. Ain't that dandy. Ain't that a pickle and a half. Thanks for accompanying my fast fry. Is it Ramadan already? Is that fast day? Checking the Jewish calendar if it's a fast day today. No. It's almost Purim though. I didn't see what happened here. Did he encrypt this? He encrypted the, the con man that was here. Encrypted the con man. This is probably a swashbuckler. So we'll let that con man grow one time and kill the swashbuckler. That makes the most sense. As opposed to not killing this and then both of them grow. I could see I could read you like a book when you walked in. 
I mean, honestly, what is it? Conga? <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad conga, actually. Not gonna lie. Could have been Monkus, just throwing out a Monkus pirate. But yeah, that was definitely the lead. It still was good. It still left one one on the board. It's ridiculous for a, for a dude cause card. But that was definitely uh, damage control. And we have potted and all the other Shenan Nuggins. So do I want to go face myself or do I want to like... Can add one this way. Could add. Did he? He used encrypt as a superpower, so I have to worry about strength. Uh, I, I hate that he actually left over three brains there. Let's see what happens, man. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna have a quick answer to the speed rex. Really bad when you're trying to slow down an opponent. Oh, never mind. B rex grows. Everything grows. That was not a good play, bro. Just hold that. But now he's taking 10 damage right now. And the potted power out. We're going to win next turn because of that. Dude. Dude. You don't have to play the gifts when I have three dinosaurs on the... Guys, look at the potted powerhouse. We win. We win because this guy decided Merry Christmas is better than winning PvZ Heroes. Clogs every single lane except for the one that matters. Yep. Oh. Well, we don't have time to shine yet, but I'm going for it anyway. Yup. <laughs> Didn't need it. Didn't even need it. Don't roll double threes. Don't roll double threes. <laughs> My heart. He <laughs> rolls a three and a two. PVZ Heroes is just trolling me at this point. All right, well, we're five and one. <laughs> that was the worst unexpected gifts in the history of PvZ Heroes. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, man. All right, not infinity. I want to play against anyone. I'll go Brainstorm and Morticia again. I don't care. I don't want to see Sneaky Heroes. Yes, that's fine. I especially don't want to see Infinity. <laughs> See, that was Infinity Pirates. It just didn't get his flame face on time. That's that's a hand. What about this dumb high voltage current? I think we ditch it. Okay, now we're ditching this for a one drop. Right, still a good hand. These are really, really good cards against Brainstorm. And if he's running Fruitcake and not Rocket Science, which is usually the case, then this is a very good card against Brainstorm as well. Na na, you trouble when you walk in. I could see you in trouble when you walk by. <laughs> Fry, why don't you wear the Jew hat anymore? You know what? I'm supposed to do a podcast. We have on the Patreon, we have the Deep Fry podcast. And I don't have a topic yet. I'm supposed to do one tomorrow. I think the topic is going to be... What happened with me and religion? I used to be very religious. Now I'm not. What the heck happened? And uh, if you're religious, it's not what you think. Most people think like people leave the religion because they just didn't like it. They had other things they wanted to do. That wasn't no. It wasn't like that at all. It was an intellectual journey. Wow, another black IP. Even though it's not on curve, I'll, I'll take as many of these against Brainstorm. So he Eureka, right? We have six. He should have eight. Spent one, gained two. And here's a really strong card against Professor. Cryobrain, okay. It's a punish, but you know. Glad at least I have black IP. He's gaining an extra brain every single turn. That will most certainly add up. Uh, so he's not necessarily going for tricks anymore. This is very likely going to be like a mad chemist. Um, 
Okay, so let's calculate block meter. Hit, hit. The thing we want to be hitting face is probably this one. So B-Rex will proc the block next turn. Yeah, this is right. Hit, hit, proc the block. Hit. This does four. Oh! Line dancing from Eureka. I didn't play around that. <laughs> Come on, man. Bro! <laughs> I can't play around line dancing without the obviously. Rainstorm can't even run that. He got it from Eureka. That was actually a pretty big deal, too, because uh, those were going to grow the Potted Powerhouse a lot. Ooh, that's a really slow tempo play. Second Eureka card coming out. We only have to play around one more random garbage card now. Uh, I think doing this after his attack phase is better. I'm doing, like, this will proc his block, so I'd rather it not. None of his, none of his superpowers actually buff his cards. It probably doesn't matter. Wow. So that came from the Cosmic Scientist. That's Bullseye. He could go face Bullseye with that. Of course not. But Black IP is still popping off. We got a 4 4 on the board. Two cost 4 4. We really would like another dinosaur here. That works though. I'll plant food if it's really good. If not, let's just see what kind of berries we can get here. Honestly, just berry, berry, Black IP is totally okay here. This is not playable. No, 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 no. Oh, shush! It's <laughs> fine. I'll take an extra berry blast any day. He does have chicken ink. So, not very good against black eyed peas. Honestly, though, we still got two cards from the high voltages, so. Yeah, proc the block. Oh, we're good. Plant food time to shine just kind of just wins now. <laughs> it's hot, so we can actually move it over if we want. Can I get a one cost card to one cost? Plant food time to shine. Oh boy! Ah, oh, that'll do it, boys! Thank you, dog. You're so nice. I, I really do appreciate. Oh, we could have gone potted powerhouse there. Potted power. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. Because potted powerhouse would actually get blocked by this. <laughs> okay. We could also just do this in lane two, but I decided to be fancy today. Yep, that click be didn't really matter much at all, but it made it more fun. It was like, haha, you got dog. Dog, cheese cutter, that's how it works. And we have a Shamrocket now. This is amazing. Been waiting years to get that card. Rank 48. You could hit Ultimate Leap with this deck, no problem. I mean, look at it. It's popping off. Fry, how much do I have to donate for an apartment tour? 100. And then we'll do it on a private video call. In fact, Starshler RP, you're already in the 50, right? He's already the 50 Patreon, so just 50 more next month, and we'll do a. I'll give you a apartment tour, a, f a one on one 15 minute apartment tour. We can use that for the for the for the video video call. I'll show you my whole life, give you my social security number. It'll be it'll be great. Good times. Um, what about this? Keeping this against Rust Bolt. <sighs> What about keeping the banana peel? I'm gonna ditch the banana peel and keep the B-Rex, I think. I think this is an okay hand. <laughs> let's leave. Uh, so let's go for click P. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter where. <laughs> Please don't throw the bets. I'll try. I'll, I promise. I don't ever intentionally throw games. I know that's the c biggest conspiracy theory of this channel, but that's not actually how it works. Uh, I wonder if Embiggen is good right now. It's not bad. He's really getting a 3-3 on the board, I think, is pretty strong. I'm not going to do it to this one, because it can die to Rocket next turn, but exactly 3-3 is kind of cool. I think for the tempo of this deck, I'm going to commit this, and this is a very very difficult board. This can also grow, too. So, very difficult board for Rustful to deal with. It gets the ramp, but we got the damage. Captain Combustible, you kind of have to play your game. Like, if you can get damage, just kind of get it. It'll lower... Oh, that's so good. Such a good click P, man. What is this, a chemist? No, and it... it a Turquoise Skull was going to make a good trade here. But now it doesn't, because we got Click P, and it actually dies to Berry Blast. 
We're only going to have three sun coming up because of turquoise. Okay, so let's try to start thinking about what kind of deck this is. This might be sun bandits. We've seen the perfect sun bandits uh, hand. It's been cryobrain on two, turquoise on three. Uh, this turn, well, we'll know next turn if he plays raw zombie or something. If it is in fact, but this berry blast is really, really good here. This probably is Sun Bandits. Now that I think of it. Let's assume something will die this turn and we'll have room for the B-Rex. So we can develop a little Dino. It's kind of the last time we're ever going to be able to. So here's another Ramp card. This is a card you typically don't see in... Well, in my version with the Leap, you see it. Okay, so it's Leap Sun Bandits. Please don't get anything... So oh, 4 or 5. That's so good. Oh, he's leaping that. I would, I would kind of just... No way, bro! So he kills both click bees. Dude! <laughs> That's some luck. That's some BS. I mean, we're still okay. We're still ahead in this game, but not by much anymore. Not by much at all. Uh, this actually does contend. We could go three and two. No, we're just gonna B-Rex to face my rough taking an extra five here though we'll do this next turn double gentleman zombie huh no hey I, I was happened to be running hand to devastation okay he's buffing that growing you that's okay four and three does take that out so we can very bless that one yeah and these two tray think we're okay are there any six drops that are really bad here i mean we're knocking right now man knocking on lethal wizard Ugh. the question is how um how conservatively should i play oh so this makes it a lot easier actually In fact, just Berry Blast is probably the play, and that's it. This does make this go away, but does he... I didn't track superpowers, man. He honestly can't do much into B-Rex either, though. Hold on. Going viral? Going viral would make him win. We, we saw Rockwall... We have not seen nerf, have not seen... Did he heal? I'm... I, I was gonna just berry blast and go phase for five, but I, I just think he might have, like, chop. If he's going for going viral, which is very likely, we should win here. Yes! It's a close game, guys. Seven and one. Right, would you adopt me and my pet lizard for one hundred dollars? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not really looking to to have any more kids yet. Maybe maybe get back to me in a few years. <laughs> I'm seriously considering that offer. Really not. So that's awesome. We'll get rid of plant food early. I'd love to get a one. That's a one. Careful what you wish for. This deck would be much better with one seedling. No, it would it? Seedling would throw off the, the, the balance, the chakras of this deck. I'm gonna save this for buffing things later. Let me guess. For the eighth time today, it's gonna be past cryo brain. Watch this, guys. Trying to think which which card should not be subject to laser base alpha. I think I'll just go with the one that I I have right now. We know we don't know what the future holds, you know. But yeah, we're just piling on tempo against super brains. It's just not really a removal specialist, and he's just passing like he don't even count. No, okay. Should have seen that coming after turn one pass, turn two pass. Yeah, he's going for some high roll garbage. That's just what's happening here. Look at these pots, though. Let me guess. Berry treasure? Oh, no. 
Okay, so he has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Blob will be t at ten right now. Play two gravestones though. One of these could be a pogo. It's a little sad to play in the pogo. I think we're gonna do it anyway. No, it's more ramp. And teleportation zombie. This B Rex worked out perfect. What is he gonna do for three laser base? But very unlikely. Uh oh. He doesn't bonus attack this right now though, right? He doesn't have it. Oh my gosh. But he has deadly. That's devastating. Holy crap. I think we're gonna be in a 7 and 2 scenario, guys. It's not scripted. It's just not. He he was a lurch for lunch away from OTKing me. Who's OTKing who now? I don't really have a good way of dealing with this, unless we top deck a berry blast. Uh, could see. He doesn't have Lurch for Lunch. He could get Super. I, I, I mean... <laughs> I guess to play around Block Super, if we don't get... Here, here's the deal. One, two, three, four. So if we don't get Berry Blast right now, I will... I'll, I'll, I'll banana peel this over and then meteor it so it dies and he can't get blocks. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's top deck madness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we just so he doesn't block and win with his ultimate. <laughs> yes, high voltage current. That's how it's done. We could legit win this game now. He kind of spent all of his resources on that. And we still have eight health. Oh my god. Seven and two scripted. Y'all y'all conspiracy theories theorists. Y'all drive me insane. Oh, we're in we're in infinitely better shape. Oh my god. No 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 no. He can still blow. How many blobs does he Oh my gosh? Just all in on blob. He got two though, like an all-out blob deck, like which this that's what this is. This is not ramp. There's no bad moon rising. So he's just all in on blob. Getting two is is bad luck for me. Don't get super. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would have been lethal. We can still win. We can still win. We can still win. We can still do this, folks. This is doable. So it's banana peel. I don't know. I I mean, yeah, it's got to be like this. And just pot. Pot to face, man. He's got four cards. But bonus attack won't even do it anymore. He's got to have a rocket. And he can't rocket defensively. He has to spe he, I mean, he can't rocket offensively. He has to do it defensively now. So this is a... Both a very powerful offensive play and a protection of him spending his resources getting eight on our face. No teleportation zombie. You don't have to worry about third blob. <laughs> I have another one. I don't care about that. No way! Who is this guy? Are you freaking kidding me? That guy had, I mean, other than getting the lurch for lunch a couple of turns earlier. That was godlike. And just like that, we're seven and two. Couldn't have scripted it any better, guys. Seven and two. <laughs> that was <laughs> nice acting fry. Exactly. I paid that guy to snipe me. It's seven and two. Let's go. It's all scripted, guys. It's all part of the master plan to take over YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Guys. We're in a seven and two scenario. Spam, there's no one, no one subscribed? No one subscribed? Spam it? Oh, we're waiting for the uh, one minute. They'll spam it in a second. First they're going to freak out, then they're going to spam seven and two. I can predict the future. We're on a one minute delay. So. Prevents snipers somewhat. See, this is a very good hand. This is a very good hand. We want to be as aggro as possible. I think I just let that happen because we have a couple of removal cards for next turn. So we should be able to take care of this. 
We can just berry blast this next turn, you know. This should have gone on ground though against Super Brains. Now it's, it's not infinity. This goes on ground. <laughs> uh yeah, we're berry blasting that. I'm not gonna let him flip it with his environment. It's just not happening today. Oh. Never mind. Maybe I'll play Bip. Okay, it's all interdimensional zombie. <laughs> Always has been. Okay. One cost two three, isn't that bad? I could see your trouble when you walked in. It's a one damage difference and we can develop Black IP a turn earlier. Like I won't be able necessarily to make this good trade next turn if he plays another science card. Also, double removal will probably be very good next turn. Alright. It's a little bit strange, but I'll take the good trade while I have it, plus really saying I can definitely deal with this or whatever this turns into, and then berry blast to protect our our, our aggro card. I think that's correct. Lucky he didn't get another science from the transformation. He does. I think this is fine. He's going for some leap play. But we'll Offensive Meteor, and we'll Berry Blast defensively. Now he's stuck with a 2-3 on the board, and if he goes for a trick, he'll probably leap this on. In one way or another. But yeah, that's four. That's a big, big dude. Let's see if we can get a 3 health 4 drop. I could see you were trouble when you walk. I'm gonna do this, even though it doesn't hit this turn. It just is very weak on the... Oh, it does hit. Never mind. It's either very small chance of damage that oh, no. so that dies to berry blast now, or just a banana Rex Rex if he doesn't have a leap. It's probably like gentleman zombie and he leaps. This is very risky because he could just leap it. It probably is just better to go face here. Four and three does win. It's okay. Oh, that's a good two for one though. That is solid pogo. Not good for card advantage. But good for just about everything else. So four and berry blast will win now. Is there any five drafts? Come on, get camouflage amp. Get that useless card. Get binary stars. Oh, that's fine. It's a four four. Four to four 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 four. Should I play around him leaping that and 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 turning it into a monster? Pretty sure this is still it. It's very unlikely for him to get 11 damage. Even Kitchen Sink, it only does like 8. I think that's the most. Teleport. But yeah, this Berry Blast should be able to kill him next turn before he's able to do anything too crazy. Oh. Digging. Let's get we digging. Leap. We need a leap. <laughs> Please don't ring. Yes, it's book is time again. And he messed it up. There's the leap. I, I don't think it's really. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Spare us. But yeah, we're 8 and 2. <laughs> That's 8, right? Oh, we're 8 and 2. Yeah, the last game was close. But we got him. He yellowed it, but this, I mean. He could have actually California rolled and still gotten Chop or, or Super Brain Super. I don't know. He conceded a little early there. But yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Is it, is it still happening? Oh, it's over. I'm so happy. <laughs> Fuck his time. <laughs> All right, guys. That was the All Out Potted Powerhouse. I mean, that did great. We had, the, obviously, all the games where we didn't get it. But the times we got Potted Powerhouse, it was awesome. It was powerful. This is really, these inconsistent cards, it's so funny how, like, Mirror Nut and, I don't know, what else did we do this with that actually worked for the first time? <laughs> I mean, even, like, Mop, like, you know, Celestial Custodian, is that the way that all these cards work well is just when you're, when you're all, all in on it. Like, it's inconsistent because you're not, you're not committing enough. It's not that you're committing it too much, it's that you're not committing enough. We're going to call this the the Theory of Mirror Nut. 
the mirror nut theorem that sounds the best the mirror nut theorem in this channel means that if there's an inconsistent card that does not perform well you try it so many times there's only one viable option and that is full scent make the entire deck revolve around it and then maybe it'll work don't just add it to a nut deck the mirror nut theorem all right guys Thank you for joining me. That was the uh, Potted Powerhouse, the all-in. That worked great. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that'll definitely go on YouTube. Peace. Let's try.